This video is going to be a little bit different than the top 10 videos we've done. Instead of categories, we're talking one specific modder, Black Sheep Modding. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 favorite Black Sheep Modding mods for Farming Simulator 19 for all platforms. These are just my personal preferences and what I think has benefited the community the most, whether it's customization, functionality, or maybe just a highly requested mod. <coughs> cough, cough, 4440, yeah! Obviously, there's plenty more Black Sheep modding mods out there. I think there's only about a third of them and don't even include maps on this. So if you've got a top 10 or maybe a favorite Black Sheep modding mod that's not on this list, let me know what it is in the comment section. Otherwise, let's take a look at my top 10 favorite. At number 10 on the list today is the Big Brood 425-100. Welker Farms, yeah. So this is a mod that we had in Farming Simulator 17, and they brought it back in Farming Simulator 19. They actually released it in 2019, which was great. It's got a bunch of horsepower, bunch of fuel, holds a lot of fluid in the back, liquid fertilizer or herbicide. It goes 37 miles per hour if you guys are running at max, 15 miles per hour, rim colors. It's got a trailer hitch on the back, different wheel setups. I mean, this is one of the coolest sprayers in the game and holds one of the highest amounts as well. Just a beautiful mod and it's a very, very cool mod because it's a role play mod at the end of the day. It's like one of the first role play mods for Farming Simulator 19 for console players because you could use this on Welker Farms. Oh, it was really cool, and we had to start the list with this today. At number nine, we've got the Massey Ferguson Series 3000. This is available not only in a four-wheel drive, but in a two-wheel drive version as well. This was a very, very popular mod in Farming Simulator 17. You're gonna see a pattern of that, by the way, with Black Sheep modding. This was super popular then, very popular now, probably people's favorite, if not one of their most favorite classic tractors. It more than likely one of the most popular Massey Ferguson mods out there. You can't deny that the beautiful, beautiful design on this, Black Sheep Modding did a really, really good job. Plus, you get it in almost any configuration that you want with all kinds of stuff on it. And hey, don't need three point, put on that front lifter. Gotta love it, yeah. At number eight is a pair of mods. They're kind of the same, but they're not the same at all. It's the John Deere 90 Skid Steer Loader and the Massey Ferguson 711. Both of these have very, very different customization. They got some really cool stuff. Of course, this was the first John Deere skid steer that we got in the game. I think we've got one more newer one now, maybe something like that. But you could change up. I mean, you got different setups, different wheel setups, a couple different designs here. Got some cool stuff. And as far as the Massey Ferguson, which was released much, much earlier, if I remember correctly, this, you can really change it up and do some kind of interesting things to it. I mean... Check that out. I just love this because there's no cabin on it. It's one of my favorite things. Again, as you can see, they're definitely different. The Massey Ferguson is much, much larger than the John Deere, but this both gives players the unique opportunity to use whatever they want on their farm. If they got John Deere, rock John Deere. If they got literally anything else, Use the Massey, good to go. Rocking out at number seven, we've got the Semi-Tipper 70,006 and the dolly that goes along with it. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. This was, I think, my second or third favorite mod in Farming Simulator 17 all together. And uh, yeah, guess what? It came to 19 and I loved it here too. Tons of customization. You got all the, well, I say all the rib colors you want. You got like that one and then all the base game color and I've exited it out. Fortunately for us, this trailer and the dolly both have its own brand, which is great to see. Here you go, back into it again. Colin, <laughs> tons of colors. You got your main colors on the top, your design colors on the bottom, you just rocking it onyx, and then change it up just like that. Get all kinds of different stuff, plus many different wheel options for you guys as well. Change it up, and you can put a trailer hitch on the back, and you got a dolly to go along with it. I love it in farm sim i think it was a 17 we had a couple other trailers as well and then we did end up getting one of those trailers i think we got the logging one as well but nonetheless oh, that is the wrong one here you go i love this trailer it's beautiful it works you can put it on the front of any truck, the back of any truck and be totally fine number six today we have the wood chipper lizard trex 900 probably a mod that you didn't think i would be putting on this list 
This was super valuable in FarmSim 17 when they brought it over to FarmSim 19. Really help people with their logging. All you do is you put your logs on the black belt in front and it opens up and spits them out into wood chips. Works very, very quickly. Uh, and you can see it says three miles an hour. Well, I don't think you could drive this, but you could definitely run it. Holds 5,000 and you could pick on some different side guards as well. Plus, it's an IT runner. So let's say you get their 850 hook. Well, it fits perfectly on the back. Something else you're kind of neat is you can enter it. Yeah. You can actually enter the thing itself and control the IT runner portion of it, and you can even control other pieces as well. It's a really cool mod. I love this thing. At number five is the John Deere Gator 6x4. When this came out, this was super, super highly requested by the community. They just wanted a John Deere Gator. We had the one in game, the X850, something like that from Giants, but not really something that you see very often here in the United States, at least for farms and that type of thing. Well, this, this right here, this is what players wanted. And we got it from Black Sheep Modding, of course, none other than them. We already covered this in, I think it was the off-road and uh, UTV, ATV video. So if you want to check that video out, nonetheless, this one right here is number five from Black Sheep Modding. I love it. Oh yeah, and here's the three-point hitch thing on the back. Yep, that's a three-point hitch. Nobody asked for it, but they delivered, and I love it. At number four is another mod that everybody really wanted to see, the John Deere 40 Series. Not only we did, did we get the 40 Series, we got four of them. We got the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive, plus we got the longer version and the longer version and a four-wheel drive version as well. Of course, I think the one that pretty much everybody goes with is the 4440 two-wheel drive, myself included, actually using this on a series right now. But you got all kinds of customization, put what you want. You got John Deere tires here too. These are Firestones, if I remember correctly. They've just been debranded. Nonetheless, Black Sheep Mining brought this mod to us. We wanted to see it and we got it. It's also one of the best sounding tractors in the game as well. If you didn't know that this was in the game, well, check it out, because Black Sheep Mining brought you a good one. John Deere 40 Series. 40 for 40, let's go. At number three is a version of what was my favorite mod in Farming Simulator 17, the Trex 600. Used to be the, uh, Goodness, the Rayboard Xylor, I think was the name of it. And they kind of took the idea for the front of it there. But anyway, they gave us a machine. I can change up the colors on it however you like. I think the white looks really good. You've got forestry versions on here, plus different wheel setups. We now have 3D tracks on here too, thanks to all of the stuff from Paint a Farm and their team. Uh, we've got a couple updates on this. It came out a couple of years ago, I think at this point, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. But it's for everybody. You can use it. All you got to do is literally take this, drive up to a tree and touch it. And it goes, boop, bye. Great stump grinder, great tree grinder. I mean, it'll basically take out whatever you put in front of it that is wooden related. Check it out if you haven't. The Lizard Trex 600. Oh, it's a T-Rex. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not a Trex. It's a the T-Rex. At number two on our list today is something very recent that Black Sheep Modding put out. This is the Quadra Pro Baylor Pack. This comes with eight Baylors. <laughs> Sorry, eight of them. We've got four different brands. You've got Fit, Challenger, Massey Ferguson, and New Holland. We also get the Pro Baylor Stacker as well. This will stack up four square bales on top of each other so that you can come out and pick them up with, uh, well, whatever you want. Black Sheep Modding's got something for that as well. This is really cool because it adds a windrow on the front of your baler. Pop it out to 14 meters. So if you're using, let's say, a normal header at 12.5, 12 point whatever meters it is, well, you can pick up two swaths of straw out of the back of that. It's pretty tough to reach out that far, but you can do it. This is allowing players to do things a little bit easier and a little bit better and bigger ever before. Make it 4,000 liter square bell, so nothing too crazy there. Keep that in mind. However, I love this, and if you guys want to use some crazy stuff like I do, modded stuff, this is what you want to go with. Our honorable mention today has to be the fifth wheel hitch pack. This right here came with the trunk, and it came with two gooseneck trailers. This was the first gooseneck trailer for all platforms, Farming Simulator 19. I think it was the first one 
period in farming simulator on mod hub you get this truck right here this is a modified version of the 2014 pickup that we've got in farm sim 19 and of course back here you've got the gooseneck we had two goosenecks that came with this the first one is this one right here actually for vehicles and these ramps will come down there's also another version that is for bales and things like that it's not auto loading but it does have straps whereas this version does not have straps however the vehicles do stay in place pretty well at least from what i have found it's a beautiful truck it is awesome it was actually in my top pickups truck video for farming simulator 19 so if you haven't seen that one check that out too and lastly today at number one the lizard subsoiler 6m this is a truly remarkable plow it's not a subsoiler at all it is a plow 180 horsepower is required but you could go with this with zero horsepower as long as you're moving forward and still work because it works forwards and backwards all you got to do is hook up to the back right here and pull from that direction instead or you can hook up here like normal or put it in the front of your tractor or flip it around it really doesn't matter 10 miles an hour is how fast you're gonna go regardless of what you're doing but it is really cool nonetheless and this gave us the option of colors so we could choose up a nice design color for the bottom and a color for the top you could do that if you want go pink power ranger it doesn't matter this I mean, it is the best mod that they have put out or at least the most useful in my opinion and I gotta be honest with you, if you take this and you put it on the back of this, which also has a three point hitch, by the way, uh, this is basically unstoppable. So check it out. Get it right now if you haven't been using it. Lizard Subsoiler 6M. And there you go. That's my top 10 favorite mods from Black Sheep Modding that came out in Farming Simulator 19. If there was something on this list that you thought should have been from them, let me know what it was. Again, this were mods and not maps. We will be doing another map video later on. Probably going to do two or three map videos. Definitely a EU and USA maps. And then going on from there nonetheless hope you enjoyed this one if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i'll be dead hope you have a great day we'll see you later Peace.